Okay. <laughs> now it just went quiet. But you guys want to come join me? That's fine. I'm gonna be I'm live right now, you guys. Um, I will snake. Can you guys hear me? Shit, my mic was off. Oh. Yeah, I'll join here in just a second. I'm saying I think everybody's working on something right now, Richard. Yeah, give them just a minute. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna, um, I'm going to play my walking day and, and take two. Try this again. <laughs> uh, my god. Uh. Messages. Yeah, I'm live right now and only on my top. I'm actually gonna be live on both. Oh my god, that thing I I gotta Okay, take two! Mm. Marshals, that's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Ah, okay. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. <sighs> Want some fall again? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. 
They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. you kill it? And all were. And it's still a fun game to play. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Yeah. I think I that might be a little while. While. You know? Oh. You know? Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I remember the last time I played this, I did this in the daytime. Yeah. Snake, did you ever, did you ever had a chance to look at that picture I sent you? Ow, let me go. Of the, um, that square picture on the top corner? You probably didn't have time to look at it, but that's okay. Yeah, Yeah, the last time I played us, it was off of my PlayStation 3 or 4. the bastard! Are we going to die? No. I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. Okay! Oh 
shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. No, not for a while. Looks like you cut the shit out of yourself. My leg, yeah. It's hurt pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh, shit. It's Chad. Let's go. Get to my car. Let's go. is in the cop car, now he's out. Yeah, but the last time I did as I said, let's go find help the last time I played this. I just come in and my computer. Why is it? I mean, dude, as soon as I... Say hi to your dad for that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Was a good deal. Uh, as soon as I get the max screen, One it of the best. Hmm. Take care of you two. I even made a new one. Uh, you thank God you're okay. You can't say that to get I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Right Been quiet as usual yeah. the past couple days. I reckon down the way things of mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta and uh, Chet. He got killed. No. You're kidding. Let's Those things got him. I think there are some Dad, I don't know what's going on. Go away after it was I'm done. sorry, Sean. Hey, that's what it was. Sorry, I got it. You brought a couple yeah, guests. Some reset, like when it was over to restart. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. What? I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Really? What? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Okay, I don't mind that. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? <laughs> it's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I fell, trying to get away from one of really? those things. That's so. Well, how do you know it's What type of danger thing? has the girl seen? What is it? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead yes. keeping her company. I still just yeah, can't imagine it. Get pro to Consider yourself yeah. lucky. Oh, if it up, we might have we got it. another displaced family of three sleeping in the buy. barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Yeah, that's right. I didn't catch your name, darling. Well, how do you Clem well, let me feel Clementine. Like my freeze. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, uh, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. I 
It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. I see you mind. Oh. oh. I don't know that's where Savannah is at. I don't know if that's a city or it's even well. Uh, hey, Snake. <coughs> yeah. Is uh, Savannah is even a city? <laughs> is that even a well? <laughs> Savannah? Oh, I can't. What? Can't what? Hey, get up. Get them over here. <sighs> what an itchy. What well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, Why? huh? It just shows I'm uh, not her dad. Really? Babe's Lee. Uh, I'm Kenny. Dad, oh, we're right, in the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the yeah, end of it. Yeah, well, That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, terrible. though. Well, I'm a Duck? Yeah, yeah, nothing bothers yeah, him. Like water off a duck's about. back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. Uh, no kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Just drag him over to your screen you want. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I can't find... Where does it go when you... Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That... that is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Final product. <laughs> uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, the cat cut video. It never said it got saved. That's where mine goes, straight to the videos. I'm looking in my files, but I don't see nothing that's got videos on it. Uh, if you hit File Explorer, don't on the left side, it doesn't have videos. No, mine's just got, uh, gallery. <laughs> I remember the last time I had to find it, dude. I had to go through, like, 
ten different things to find a video, but I don't remember where it was. Hey, you gotta check it out. See what you think. And you give me it. Don't stop what you're doing. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Hey, Richard, you're acting so near Mike. you're good? What? Your game or whatever is coming to your mic. Yeah, well, I'll make the... Ooh! It just went up. My I'm just gonna, it's not you ever want to hop on onto my live stream. I'm gonna get off the Discord, you know. Mm -hmm. right. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. Mm. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through this city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we, the thing Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee.
Absolutely. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta?
I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed them. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Then at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. If Kenny had helped, his son would be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it.
Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Thank you for the love. Then we let them. We can't trust anybody. We already know that. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh, oh man.
be okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick. And I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills.
Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know. 
right? Cat, it's not our business. guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. It's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess.
Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I don't remember them very well. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep.
next door leads to the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. That's Kane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I 
I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. what I figured. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me and to them, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protector, at least.
button. Bye, Ace. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Nothing much. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I'm doing a little bit better, Ace. I'm guessing you probably heard too. About what happened. I'm doing a little bit better. But... I am still having a nervous breakdown, that's all. But hey I am doing the Hi. handy dandy. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. your finger, Clem. Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. We'll sit tight. Okay. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog.
Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell him all the care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And we weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right.
Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Can't reach that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay.
I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. doing good want to go have a look around outside not now all right mind I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse you got it hey Connie You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go.
you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Where to next? do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out window. I'm done trying to punch out window. You need to find a weapon.
shit, hold on to that. Get them on. Scrambled brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> 